Amari Cooper had a good game in a neutral site, and DPJ finally found the end zone. Who's got a better outlook for the playoffs? DPJ's profile does translate pretty well to what Deshaun Watson does, right? Deshaun Watson is the guy that runs for a lot of yards, but he extends the plays. So, you know, think about like, right, exactly. Like Russell Wilson finding Tyler Lockett or like these guys that can scramble around, man. Sometimes that translates to pretty big, pretty big plays. But anytime it's an unknown like this, I'm going to go with the guy I think is better in a vacuum. That's Amari Cooper. So I'm still going to go Amari Cooper, but I think both could potentially be, be productive. I think people are sleeping on DPJ a little bit. I see him getting some respect. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like, can I start him? That's the wrong question. You Like, we're past that point with Donovan Peoples-Jones. He's an every week you can start him kind of player. What we're getting to is when Deshaun Watson comes back to your point, does he have wide receiver two upside? Could DPJ be a top 24 wide receiver? And I think the answer is yes. Like, I think we're beyond just, should I start him over this guy? Should I start him over Darnell Mooney? Like, I remember I how he's well, elevating well, himself past that. Remember how like Will Fuller, how everybody was so hyped on, on Will Fuller, how good Will Fuller was with Sean Watson? Thanks. A lot of that has to do with this. Yeah, this is exactly what you're talking about. So I, I think he could be elevated that high up. I'd be trying to get both of these guys.